Okay, so the first solution is to uh, rename the user class.dat file. Uh, press Windows and R button and then uh, open this location which is percentage local app data percentage slash Microsoft slash Windows in here we need to find the USR class dot file let's make sure the hidden items are shown here as you can see there's a file that says USR class dot let's rename this file to user class dot old dot dat and press enter if you get any prompt you will need to restart your computer uh, and see if that helps if it doesn't uh, then see which process is currently using this file we can also use the command prompt to rename the file so we're gonna try again So if after the restart you're still getting the error, uh, we will use another account to log in and we'll change the same user's file. Uh, let's sign out. Once we're done. I'm waiting for the login window to appear. Okay, I'm going to log in with a different account. Okay, let's wait for these prompts. Okay, so let's go back to the directory on users, the user uh, which we tried to rename the user class file let's go into the users directory I'm going to app data local and then we are going to Microsoft and then Windows in here the file is there let's rename it to something like this it's done and now we'll restart the computer to see if the things are working fine or not so I'm gonna pause the video till the computer gets restarted okay so once the computer is back uh, check if the issues there or not if it persists then we can try another solution so the next solution is to try with Windows PowerShell um, we we need to open Windows PowerShell in the administrative privileges mode right click on the start menu and you will see an option like Windows PowerShell admin click on it and it will open the PowerShell click on yes if you get the USB prompt once we are in the PowerShell just run this command let me see if I can bring the command here. Okay, so we're going to run this command. It's going to take some time. So once the command is completed, we need to restart the computer and then we'll check if the issue is resolved. 
uh, let's reset the computer all right so if uh, previous solution didn't work and we restarted the computer and checked if it is still not working then the simplest solution that we can try is to restart the Windows Explorer so press control shift and escape key this will bring up the task manager in front of you uh, we are going to click more details and then we'll find out Windows Explorer process uh, we can sort them with the name and then let's see if we can get the Windows Explorer process and here it is right click on it and restart so this will just restart the Explorer check if the issue is resolved if it uh, still there then we can move to the next solution which is to uh, tweak taskbar settings so let's move to different solution I'm gonna close this window so let's right click on the taskbar and select taskbar settings we need to open we need to locate the automatically hide the taskbar uh, this computer's window is, is, is currently not activated uh, so we just need to turn on this uh, option which is automatically hide the taskbar in desktop mode once it is turned on try to open the action center and see if that works uh, if it doesn't we have another solution let's move on to the next one in this solution we'll download the shell x view from this website the website is given in the uh, description so let's download the shell x view here I'm gonna save this file so here it is let's open this one Click on yes. So in this app we need to find security and maintenance.cpl There it is and we are going to right click on it and we will disable this item the next thing we need to find is Windows Management Instrument CPL uh, okay uh, disable the Windows Instrument Management CPL and the, uh, the Security and Maintenance CPL wait for a few minutes and then re-enable them all uh, let's go back to Security and Maintenance CPL then enable it 
and then click on yes and also enable the windows uh, management instrumentation CPL service and see if that resolves the issue if it doesn't then we are gonna move to the next solution which is to hard shutdown so I'm gonna close this window close everything so to hard shut down the computer you just need to press and hold the power button on your on on the computer and it will eventually turn off once it is turned off wait for a few seconds and then just turn it on okay, our next solution is to check our hard disk um, and you know system for the errors we are gonna open the run press windows and R key then type in CMD and in here first of all we need to execute DISM slash online slash cleanup image slash restore health run this command okay it will require you to run the power uh, command prompt in an administrative privileged manner so click on start menu search for the CMD right click on the result and run as administrator click on yes on USC prompt gsm slash online slash cleanup hyphen image restore health press enter and wait for the command to get executed it's it can take some time to complete so I'm gonna pause this recording okay so once this command is done we need to execute SFC space forward slash scan now press enter and wait for the command to get completed I'm going to pause the recording and once it is done I'll be back okay so once the SFC scan is done check if um, the action center is if you are able to open the action center if not then we need to reset the PC uh, let's move on to next solution then uh, press windows and I button it will open up the settings in the settings go to update and security and in here let's go to recovery in recovery uh, let's click on reset this P uh, get started button under reset this PC once you go in there uh, the wizard will be started and it will ask you to keep the files or remove them uh, choose keep my files and then click on and then you know choose click keep my files and it will you know start resetting your PC once your PC is done with the reset option check if you are now able to open the action center and things are working fine uh, hope this video will be helpful for you thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe the channel